Hello there. In this episode of Google Sheets learning tutorial, we will see how to import data from another Google Sheet using array formula. I have two workbooks here. The first one is where I will try to import the data and the second one is our source workbook from where I'll try to pick or import the data. In the first workbook, I'll place my selection in cell A2. Here I will use array formula with a combination of import range function. I will use import range function to import the data and place it inside the array formula to formulate an array. In case if you want to know how the import range function works, please take a look in the video description where I am going to leave a link for you. Here I will type in array formula and inside this formula, I need to let the formula know what range of cells or columns should I use to formulate an array. For that information, I will type in import range function. In this function, I need to pass two arguments. The first one is the spreadsheet URL. This is the URL of the sheet from where we are trying to import the data. So I am going to go get that source sheet link and place it in the double quotations, comma. The second part is the range string. From that source sheet, what part of data do you want to import? So I want to import column A and B from the data set sheet. So I will double click on that data set sheet, copy that name and come back to my original sheet. Under double quotations, I'll place that sheet tab name followed with an exclamation mark, then column A, colon, column B. This indicates that it needs to import the column A and B of data set sheet of that workbook. Close the double quote, close the bracket and close the bracket again. Two brackets because the first one is for the import range and the second one is the array formula bracket. Now press enter. It will try to get the permissions from that sheet. So you will see hash ref here. If you click on allow access, Google sheet will establish a connection between this and that sheet. That is this sheet and the source sheet. So it can read the data and import it for you. I will click on allow access. You will see it will import the data quickly. If you are importing a very large data set, it might take several minutes depending on the amount of data. Now imagine in case if you want to import column A, column B and column D and formulate an array from those three columns here. How do we go about it? To achieve that, we will make some changes to our existing formula. I will go here and cut out this import range function and at the start of array formula, as soon as I open the round bracket, I will open a flower bracket because I'm going to import random columns now. To achieve that, I need to place my import range function inside the flower brackets. So I will place my import range function here, comma. The third column that I require is the column D. So I will paste that one more time and change the column range from A to B to D colon D. Click outside the import range function, close the flower bracket and close the round bracket. Now when I press enter, it will import all three columns from that sheet. So this is how we can use array formula in combination of import range function to import data sets from different workbooks of Google Sheet. This can be very useful when you're working with large amount of data to perform data analysis, do lookups and many more things. I request you to practice, practice as much as you can. The more you practice, the more you will retain. In the next episode, we will explore more dimensions of Google Sheets. If you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel and click on that little bell icon to enable notifications. Thank you so much. Have a very lovely day. See you soon.